everyone welcome to devops info channel my apologies i was not able to post the azure pipelines videos last week because i had some challenges in the azure subscription because i was not able to run parallel jobs due to the less credits my credits will be refilling in the first week of november post that i will be able to continue on the devops uh, videos on the pipelines till the time we'll try to cover some features that are available in the office 365 security part today in this video we'll be looking into the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, uh, we'll see how to onboard your Windows machines uh, into the Microsoft Defender. As we all know, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is a Microsoft delivered cloud endpoint solution, a security platform designed to help the enterprise networks to prevent, detect, investigate, and respond to the advanced threats. So if you could see the, uh, the screen uh, or the PowerPoint where I can I have just shown the, the, the image from Microsoft website, which is like it's a centralized configuration and administration for your endpoints, which is more advanced, like it can help you in the next generation protection. Uh, and also it can do the endpoint detection and response. Uh, it's uh, it also helps in actively detecting the advanced threats. So having talked about that, uh, let's uh, have a look at uh, the steps on how to onboard your Windows uh, machine to the Defender. So the first thing is like when you enable the Microsoft uh, Defender on your uh, tenant, you would see something like this. Uh, you need to go into the Intune Endpoint Security and then you need to go into the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint over here you see uh, the connection status which is enabled so the moment when it is enabled it, it is something like uh, your uh, endpoint is able to uh, talk to the microsoft defender for endpoint um, and in order to do the the onboarding steps there are multiple ways to onboard the defender for endpoint the steps are very clear and easy to do them via the portal what we uh, what is mentioned in the microsoft so when you go into the Microsoft Defender portal, you need to uh, go into the settings and in the settings, you just scroll down, uh, you see the device management onboarding. So the moment when you click on the onboarding, there's an option to choose the operating system to start the onboarding process. So here you have the option to choose the Windows version and then uh, start the onboarding process. You could also see if you can select Mac and Linux also. So in our case, we are using Windows 10 and uh, 11 and the deployment method you also have the multiple ways to choose based on your uh, type of deployment that you are currently done in your organization um, you can also do the deployment locally for example if you're doing the deployment with a, a handful of devices you can always use the local script download the onboarding package the steps are very clear and you can just follow them uh, and later after you follow uh, you can also run a detection test for example uh, to uh, know if your uh, devices are reporting. And also there is one more important point that you need to keep in mind is uh, the firstly, the Windows devices also need to meet some prerequisites to onboard them. Uh, like for example, uh, this is the main service, the, di the diagnostic uh, track service. This diag track service needs to be running on your uh, Windows 10 devices. But by default, this service is running, but it's always better to have a look at them and see by any chance if they are uh, turned off. Um, this is required in order for the devices to report the cyber data to Microsoft Defender. And uh, the next part is about the internet bandwidth. Each and every device requires five megabytes a day. Uh, this is just to send the data to Microsoft Defender so that the Microsoft Defender can also analyze your device and uh, find just in case if any issues is reported uh, and uh, there are also scenarios like if you find any devices you need to collect the data or download the logs then additional bandwidth is required uh, for investigation but however those kind of scenarios you would be running uh, very few cases so uh, you don't need to worry about that part uh, and uh, coming to the onboarding part uh, yeah so here you also have the option to choose SCCM, for example, uh, 
or group policy or even you have option to choose the uh, Intune or a third party MDM. So if the third party MDM supports, then we can download the onboarding package and a follow the instruction. But for the Microsoft Intune, you should not do this way. Uh, there is a better, easier way to do them, uh, to, the, to enable the Intune integration. Um, what you need to do is uh, you just need to come to the general. You have option advanced features. In the advanced feature, you have an option called Intune. Yeah, Microsoft Intune connection. So by default, this option is turned off. And uh, this is the easiest way. If you have the devices managed in the Intune in your organization, just turn this switch on. Uh, doing this, uh, it will connect the Microsoft Intune to enable sharing of device information and the enhanced policy enforcement. Um, there is also additional place where you need to do is you need to turn on the defender for endpoint in the endpoint configuration portal. So you have to come back to the endpoint configuration portal and then you need to select the option allow Microsoft defender for endpoint to enforce the security configuration. So you need to you need to turn this on and then you see the option connect Windows devices above Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You also need to turn this on. Uh, so this is uh, mainly required for both of them to talk. And after this, the main important part is you need to create a configuration profile for Defender ATP to enable the data transfer between the endpoints and endpoints. So where you can do this is like if you scroll down, there is an option to create, open the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint admin console. Um, and um, you see, create a device configuration profile to configure Microsoft Defender for endpoint sensor. So what you need to do is uh, you just need to click on create a different device configuration profile. The moment when you do that, uh, it would ask you for a name. Uh, for example, uh, here I'm just putting Windows 10 pilot and then next. The moment when you click on next, uh, you need to see, okay, uh, what are the options that you need to do uh, we are just going with the default one. Click on next. Uh, scope tax is always better to define because uh, these are all the default one that comes from the Intune. Because uh, when you define the scope tax, it is very important that um, like uh, your co your company can have multiple departments, multiple uh, device OS versions, and also uh, different locations. When you create the profile based on the scope tax, it would be really easy to categorize the device and take the report also so in this case i i, I have not defined any scope tax i'm just simply clicking on next and then the assignment i have uh, already windows 10 group and uh, i can choose the windows 10 group yeah it is also better to choose the group based on your device os uh, and then click on select and, and next and then you are going to click on create. But here I'm not going to click on create because I have already created a profile, which uh, I can show you in the devices. If you go to the windows, here I have the configuration profiles. I have onboard MD Windows 10. So here I have the, the device profile, which I have created and the profile type is of endpoint protection. And then I have, uh, Choose in the Windows 10 devices. You can also create it from here. Like for example, I can go to the Windows configuration profile, click on create a profile, and then select a platform Windows 10, and then profile type. I can choose a template, uh, and then here I can type, uh, for example, endpoint. Yeah. So Microsoft Defender for endpoint devices running Windows 10 or later. I can just choose this and create. That is also possible. So basically, only when you create this. Uh, the the device like the the data transfer between the endpoints will happen uh, so it's very important to know that you create the device configuration profile for each os platform uh, and then later you can do the device assignment uh, and uh, finally uh, the moment when you do this and everything is working you can see the defender for endpoint creates an onboarding profile and shows the status of the devices that has been onboarded so how do you see that when you come to the endpoint security, scroll down uh, to uh, the Microsoft uh, Defender for Endpoint. You can see uh, there is uh, 
place where it says devices running Windows 10 or later uh, need to be configured with Microsoft Defender. So endpoint, yeah, that's true. That's the reason uh, we did the configuration profile. And in my case, I have one device with Microsoft Defender for endpoint sensor and other one without Microsoft Defender for endpoint sensor. Uh, so let information on Microsoft cloud and security platforms. Thank you.